<laughs> Mahogany. <laughs> Some sort of fantasy metal. <laughs> no, it's perfectly... Fine, it's made of special fantasy metal. Now, fuck off. What's the elvish <laughs> word for friend? Mellock. Lash. Right. You know Gustav would never say that. Yeah, but like some wood. He kicked him in the back, knocked him into a shit-covered lake. Yeah, Bird because hold. he puts he put his favorite halfling in danger. Bird hold, what you gonna do? Anything special? Uh, I am going to continue around to where Mordrin is. Guess I'm raising my bodyguard. Ran off without me. Indeed. Speaking of Mordrin, would you like to try smashing that door again? It's your turn. Yes. Give it a go. Minus ten. Bam. There you go. And with a nice decisive kick this time, you put your full weight into it and the door bursts open. The mobs can flood in. However, I will now inform you of a rule. Fighting in the keep is slow and tough. Fights are narrowed down to one-on-one -on -one at a time. Only one group can go in and engage the Graf and his personal defensive force. <laughs> Now, when you say one on one, does that mean that a mob is two hundred on one? It means that they are narrow corridors and hallways meant for defense. Have you ever heard so of what happens? Mob can in fact choke up the hallway with their bodies. If I said I wanted to uh, Walmart on Black Friday, this guy, would you understand what I was going for? What? Yes, I do. Would that be possible? It's got a DVD player. It will, though you will only have to wait until your turn to do it. Right. So we're going to have a soccer riot inside of this keep. All right. Lash, if you continue progressing up the field, you manage to get up to here. All right. You can now fire upon anyone you want. However, everyone has engaged in melee up there. Which is what, minus 20? Uh, yes. Give it a shot. Why not? Minus Lash. 30, actually, because they do have shields. What about being outnumbered? Uh, I don't think that applies to range here. Does it not? Okay. I'm reasonably certain it doesn't. Wait a second. Otherwise, oh. then you could just uh, say, I. it's easier to hit this person in the middle of the crowd because there's more crowd around it. Well, I mean, it wouldn't get easier. He'd always be in melee. That's always a minus 20. So at right, best, but it if would it was... to be counteract. Anyway. Well, fuck you, I still hit. <laughs> oh, yeah, give me that damage. They've used up all their defensive options. Ooh, yeah, right arm. And just to confirm, yep, they just got four over there. Uh, and so which group was this, the one on the uh, top or bottom? Uh, the bottom. I'm pretty sure Alexa has this on top. Okay. Uh, so let's see, 11 damage minus 4 of the armor on their arm is going to end up being 7. You've actually put them into critical. Killed one person with absolute certainty. And they are routing. Alright. Needs up to Gustav. Mmm, lightning bolt. Always lightning. Let's do it. Which target are you going for? Top tower? Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, Well. It's alright. Indeed it is. It's very alright. It oh, is, uh... Still. Super alright with 18 damage. Plus another uh, curse. Really? <laughs> Well, yeah, oh twos. no, my toenails! Oh no, all the milk! Oh no! A nosebleed. You must have seen the sexy girl. I'm yeah, too much exactly. aroused. An anime. No, I'm fine. It's just a little bit of red on you. That's all. It's all, right. all right. So you fry a few of them up there, killing uh two of them with the same bolt as it forks. And the lot of them all step back and hold up their hands and go, Alright, maybe we will surrender. 
Good. Let's interchange that a little bit. Alexa, everyone in front of you has surrendered. Okay. Um, basically, uh, take the weapons and Wait, down. You you are sure that they are disarmed, then? And then uh, I will join the main group. All right. It is a uh, flood of attention here. You could try to push your way up to the front and take it. Definitely. Uh, am I able to make an attack on the door? Uh, no, it's rather, <laughs> this is a strength check to push past the dwarven mobs all trying to get in. And everyone else. Okay. So I'm going to actually go ahead and make this the moment that everyone will roll their strength. Why? Uh, well, everyone trying to push inwards into the game, oh. which is Alexa, oh, that's definitely Birdhold. Uh, Mordrin, you're trying oh. to for sure, right? Yeah. All right, and of course the two mobs of dwarf peasants. Any minus on this? No, this is just competitive. Well, I'm in the back. Come on, Bertholdt, give us your Black uh, Friday best. <laughs> you hold me back. I'm stronger than my bodyguard is. Indeed. Uh, and real quick, I'm going to roll uh, A and B. All right, so the dwarves definitely don't get inside. Not a single one of them, Mordrin included. However, you two uh, are pushing in, and Alexa manages to take the lead. It is a narrow corridor, and you are directly behind her, uh, Berthold. Uh, and since it is Alexa's turn, you have uh, bursted into here as your oh. movement. Rawr. And it is the Graf. He looks like he is holding uh, his powder charges, and he just drops them on the ground. Well, I guess this is it then, huh? Finally trying to take my home away from me. Last chance. Surrender now. I won't be giving up my lands or birthright this easily. And he draws out his rapier and a parrying dagger. <gasps> and he has at you. All right, we'll have at him. All right, and he's going to go ahead and choose to aim at you. And he starts with a blow to your head. Okay, I will it's try 10 to. 10% harder parry. to parry, by the way. Ah, I've been hit. Indeed, you've been struck. For seven damage. Soak all of it with my boffo male quaff and leather skull cap. There you go. It doesn't manage to pierce through the through the chain exactly as designed as you intended it. Well, are you sure you don't want to give up before I pull your brains out with this? Comes you a weapon like that, ha! Good all luck. Right. As such, uh, these militia are basically out of the fight because he will not be commanding them anymore. Alice. Whoop. Uh, your peasants oh, no. basically have the run of the castle right now. Unless they want to try to push their position upwards in the order to get inside. What's the uh, current order of uh, people again? Uh, currently, I believe it is um, Alexa, Berthold, and then all of the dwarves. I thought Gustav was in line. Uh, Gustav hasn't managed to get in line yet. He hasn't oh, had the okay. action. Yeah. So. so what, the dwarves are like piled out still outside the door? Trying to get in? Right. Okay. I think the peasants have actually kind of failed comparatively, so I'm going to push them back, and Mordrin is technically third in line right now. Okay, so the peasants are all outside the door. All right, yeah, well, they're just going to queue up. My turn, my turn. All right, everybody, nice organized line. Let's uh, let's not make a mess of this. I don't want to see you make Black Friday savings. Oof. <laughs> they, they knocked themselves out of the running. These guys are not going to keep trying. 
Oh, uh, you know what? We got shot a little bit earlier. Let's just, um... So I commanded them to not freak out, and immediately you rolled for them to freak out. Well, I immediately rolled to see if they would push their way forward in line at all. The answer is no. Uh, Berthold. As a half action, you could try to push her out of the way and take her place. Uh, actually, I can see this fight going on. Yes. I am going to reach down in my hip and pull out this uh, black rapier that I had found on my travels. Ooh. I believe pulling out a weapon is a half action, is it not? That is correct. This this flickering... It's black iron, right? But it seems to have this uh, flickering red quality to it. I'm going to look at it for like, you know, a millisecond. I'm going to point it at the graph. I'm going to take that half action that you know I'm taking. Yes, I do. Let's see it in action, then. I mean... <laughs> it's just a damage roll, right? Uh, yeah, more or less. I mean, there's nothing to roll. We've already we discussed this. I mean, this you have to roll the damage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alright, uh, let's see. Three damage, three hits. Which is a d10 plus three. Why is this? Did I do that wrong? Oh yeah, no, I did that wrong. Sorry, I didn't put a D yeah, in there. Yeah, they added ten to each. Whoops. Well, no, I didn't add ten. I just forgot to put a D there. <laughs> like, wait a second, that's way too lucky. <laughs> <laughs> way unlucky. So twenty-three damage. That ignores armor. Well, each of them is reduced. But it uh, ignores armor, but by you don't. Know, so you these are uh, bolts of fire, correct? Uh, uh, I'll just read it out loud. No more hiding shit from people. Uh, fiery blast. The sword is forged from a single flame bound in a flickering blade of black iron. Once per combat, the wielder can command the sword to release a blast of unholy fire within 24 yards for half an action. This is a magic Whoa. missile. The target of this attack takes three damage, three hits that ignore armor points. Yes. This is oh, awesome. Ignore armor points. There we go. That's important information. Well, that's what I was that. saying, but it doesn't say it ignores toughness. So if he has a toughness bonus. No, I, I don't think it uh, never magic missile never ignore toughness. So. No, I'm saying it. That's what I was saying. It doesn't ignore toughness. So if he has a toughness, yeah. it's still oh. 23. Did I say? Yeah, 23 minus toughness. My All right. Which is <laughs> oh god. All right. So the graph is standing there. Uh, firm and confident in his bright and shining plate armor, a complete set, as Alexa could note, and in fact, wow. in excellent condition. Wow. And as he's standing there, ready to clog the hallways with a couple of bodyguards at his side to keep anyone from getting around or doing anything to him, these bolts of fire come out and penetrates straight through him, and you can see his skin all over start to burn. And he is panting and barely holding on, as you can just see the flesh on him melt. Oof. Uh, what is... What is this? I gave you the chance, Graf. Stun power. <laughs> I gave you the chance to save yourself. I gave you the chance to save your family. And at your command, 400 of my men are now dead. This affront cannot stand. You have to pay the price. A demon. Nothing but a demon and a thief. Warden. All right. Uh, I, is it impossible for me to get past uh, Berthold and um, Alexa or not? Uh, if Berthold wants to forfeit his position, you can push past him. If Alexa wants to forfeit her position, you can push past her. I mean, yeah, I'll, let, I'll let Mordrin get past me, that's fine. Yep. Okay. And Alexa? Yep. What was that? I, I only heard a yeah. little beep of sound. Oh. 
What did you say, Alexa? She I said it, yes. Me. She said it while you oh. were explaining that you couldn't hear her. Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, no, um, I guess you can push past me if you want. All right, so activating... I'm stunned by that fiery horror. Yeah, you I mean, let Morgan take the field in front of you, and you have our half action. Be fair, to go. You've seen. I'm activating. Go ahead. I would say you've seen Gustav do the same thing, just with lightning all the time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, lightning so... is more. You know, it's more clean. Is it? It's I think clean. lightning is more erratic, if anything. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it doesn't quite. Fr it uh, has fry people burn. Are you about to say that yes. lightning doesn't burn people? <laughs> Yes, it does, but not quite the same way. It's more elegant. It I literally see. cooks them. <laughs> elegant, yes. Yes. All right, well, see? activating see? both of my uh, runes of striking on the Warhammer and Buckler, and Berthold did say this man had taken his last chance, so let's go for it. Oh, man. Uh, since it's through a brick wall, uh, I'll have you roll, like, minus 20, Emmerich. I mean... Uh, and, yeah, that is a sizable, uh, strike there. Let's see if he can parry it. Oh, sure really? can't. Go oh, ahead and do man. some damage. There you go. Give me a one-point critical. Oh, my God. I mean... I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my Only god. Only one point critical? He was at 15 and he has 8 armor. He just took like 30 damage. He, wow. Yep. Well, he, he took... took 14 in one strike from that magic. Oh, alright. Uh, he is a tough cookie. That math doesn't no, pan I, out. I thought he took like 30 points. Well, he took 23 and... from me. Oh my god. And even with 8 armor, well, the armor doesn't can't matter. Because of the. Yeah, no, he really it was only the toughness bonus that mattered. Yeah, he, he's really tough. Minus one. Well, this is what you get for being a graph with all the money you can afford and having perfect plate mail. There but the armor go, doesn't so... matter, though. Well, it matters a little less now. <laughs> There you go. Arm struck. Uh... Oh, if you're using the basic armor system. Okay. So you managed to deal a sizable dent into his arm, and you can see kind of like the blood seeping out from the uh, sharp, jagged piece that you've lodged into his arm. Flash. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to keep a post out here. Yeah, the battle is basically on the inside now. So, uh. Gustav, any interjection? Do you want to roll that magic at like minus twenty? Nope. I mean, the winds of magic does not care for such for walls or such things. <laughs> does does it not? I, I, no, You're it doesn't. You're kind of more concerned about the winds of magic and uh, chaotic feelings you're getting from outside uh, the walls, like in no, the uh, distance. The can far I distance. can I go into the the keep? Oh, no. Uh, if you want to push past everyone, and if they want to forfeit their positions. If not, then you'd have to do a pose strength check. Well, does anyone want to fit their, sp their position? Well, in front of you isn't me. In front of you is 400 dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I just said, just push around if they saw me shooting lightning, so... Make place, make place. But yeah, can I, can I enter? I mean, Bertholdt's not giving up his position. <laughs> he gave it up for Mordrin. I'm right. assuming the, the peasants will move out of their way for you, because... The peasants will go ahead and move out of the way, mostly because they fail to make any of their strength checks. Though. Yeah, and you're like a master wizard, so... <laughs> they're, yeah. They'll move. I don't think we want to accidentally touch his shoulders or anything. I hear you'll get zapped if you touch him. <laughs> Even if you don't, you get zapped. <laughs> you always get the shocker. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're so, like uh, the. You uh... can try to push past Berthold with a strength check if you want. Can I see the graph from here? No. Can I? They fly? are inside, indoors, in tight corridors. I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend the uh, fourteen points to have a half action. Uh. I mean, if you won, but ultimately you would still have to push your way in. Nope. Wee. Tiny <laughs> corridors, though. Wee. 
I don't care. <laughs> the ceiling is idle. Ceiling? So you can you can fly around, but how do you intend to get inside? By flying inside. <laughs> I mean, like through what entryway? To be fair, he can access the oh, window that you already said that the graph yeah. opened. Okay. I can also do that. Yes. That is true. So you can go ahead and slip inside. Then you are on a sort of a higher floor. You'll have to uh, spend a half action to find everyone later, Whee! but you can come in from behind. Whee! Well, didn't you say the graph was standing there at an open window, shooting down at people? <laughs> <laughs> he retreated. Uh, Alexa, are you going to try to displace Morgan? Uh, I'll actually go to his side and kind of look behind me, like, as this giant tongue of fire just goes out and torches this guy. It's like, whoa, I had no idea that Berthold was a mage. I'll provide Mordrin the, the, the bonus and just assume a defensive stance. This seems to be their... Uh, Unfortunately, the hallways are meant to prevent enough? this. Okay. That, that's, yeah, that's the key thing. This is a uh, one-on-one fight with them. You could try yeah. throwing something from where you are, as we've covered. You could launch a fireball from where Bert was. Well, I guess I'll just maintain the defense and let Mordrin do his thing, so... Okay. Uh, it is the Grav's attempt to go, and he is looking at Mordrin. I'll cut you all down! Uh, and he's gonna go ahead and, uh... aim and attack. Mordrin, do you have a defense? I will parry with my buckler. Do it, and you got your bonus too active. At least I'm pretty sure you have a bonus on it. <clears throat> yes. Definitely. There you go. You put up your shield, and it can just easily block a uh, forward thrust like that. Uh, Alice, your mobs are kind of going around sacking the place for right now. Bert, hold, you're chilling. Yeah, I'm uh, holding a position. Mordrin. All right, swift attack time. You got the power. And another. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Not very impressed. Do you want to spend a fortune point? Yes. And another. Bam. Ooh. Hey. All right, does he get a parry on this? Yes. He does. The first two are just to psych him out. Would you like to use a fate point? Fate point or a fortune point? A fate point, because you've already fortuned this one. And would that well, give well, me another attack? Well, you another fortune on the other attack, so... Yeah, I'll do that. So if you can hit with it, you might be able to kill him. There we go. Hey, and now he doesn't have a parry, and I don't think he has a dodge at all. 100% certain on that, but I'll just check. Yeah, sure doesn't. He's just a noble yep. man. Oh. So if you're 100% certain, and then you had to check, you weren't 100% certain. Alright. As a hit to the body, give me a three-point critical. Deem. Not bad. All right. If he is stunned for 1d10 rounds, I'm going to declare that he is basically done at this point, as he won't be able to fight back as you wail upon him. And thus, in the depths of the night, in the midst of a siege, with all the mob uh, yelling outside, doing their thing, you alone, in the midst of the keep, take down the graph with a second hammer blow after the first. Blocking with your rape blocking his rapier with your shield, and then coming around straight into the center of his chest with a sizable blow that sends him flying up against the wall. He slides down and has only a single gasp of air before he dies. Congratulations, the battle is over. <sighs> We did it. 
All right, all in all, you did not lose all too much. But congratulations, the keep is yours. Yay. <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do now? Disneyland. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I'm gonna make to Disney Disneyland. <laughs> well, uh, I mean... On a quick scouring of the keep, you can, of course, find the Graf's family holed up in uh, one of their rooms with the doors locked for the time being. Uh, oh. Though the peasantry is trying to break it down and get them too. I feel like I... Berthold would like walk past that and not say anything. Oh my God. No, I ain't just kidding. What do you mean? Ah, 140. You... I don't know yeah, what's going by. The world. I don't know what. Uh, oh my God! No. Would be going through Alexa's mind right now, but Berthold's mind is he's thinking about the families of those that have died of his. Indeed. And I don't know how much responsibility the Graf's family ha might have played in staying behind. No, no, no. Uh, Gustav would try to put stop. Uh, Alright, like they will most... listen to the words of their favorite and only wizard. Well, you say that, but there do no two wizards. <laughs> no, you're their boss, but, um... Uh, as it stands, also within the castle, of course, is uh, the Graf's personal effects, which include, uh, let me go ahead and tell you, a another pistol in good condition, and of course, a full set of full plate, full mail, and full leather. However, the left arm on the full plate is uh, damaged and is in poor condition now. Then it only slightly smells of feces upon his death. Yes. And of course, the rest of it is all in excellent condition. <laughs> this like is as good as it can get. I feel like my first move has to be to sit in his chair. <laughs> yes, you take to his uh, small throne in his throne room, look around, and your peasants are all there cheering for you. I mean, the first move you do when approaching the Iron Throne is to run your fingers along it, and then you sit down and look down at everybody. And everybody looks up at you, and cheers. Bird hold, bird hold, bird hold. Up, uh, ransacking the rest of the castle. However, you do find that there is a chest, which of course requires a key from the Graf's dead body. Uh, inside the chest is, of course, the funds for the province. All the taxes collected. All that which must, uh, of course, go to be paid to the Empire to pay for these mercenaries, soldiers, and other improvements. That number I will leave up to Liz for uh -huh. her future notes. But the castle is yours with minimum of damage, the wealth of the province, and, well, a minimal of de amount of death. 400. I keep having to remind you people, 400 people died. Yes. Which, in the grand scheme of things, not many. Yeah, 400 out of 3,000? It could have gone a lot worse for peasantry versus armed militia. Uh, oh, I have to make it Considering the fact, too, that we didn't lose anybody over the Beastman attack, too, so... Uh, actually, I will uh... go ahead and tell you that uh, the following day, uh, you do get scouting reports that there is a large force moving in. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, make sure I can pull them out real quick. So technically it's 600 people lost, 400 people are dead, 200 people have run away. It looks like there are a large number of mercenaries moving to this position and setting <laughs> up a camp not too far away. <laughs> told you! Told you we were coming back. However, given the current state of affairs, uh... One mercenary comes out to the field to try to find the local commanders here and uh, talk to them. Oh boy. I've, uh... Does anyone want to go? Well, I mean, we could just address them from the parapets. Yes. <laughs> Which, I mean, I would do. Hey, okay. loser! And that's all how right, we so... all died. We can go in, <laughs> yeah. we can go in. So they ask, uh, what are the graph? Dead. Dancing with more. Well, damn. 
You still got to pass, though, right? You already expect us to <laughs> to pay you? Well, it sure looks like you have a bunch of peasantry out there. I mean, Fortunately for you, the Graf already paid us. But if he's dead, then I don't see any reason we really need to stick around unless we have an incentive. Look at Bertrand. Look at Gustav, I wonder why he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the greatest negotiator. No, you're not. But you're so quick. <laughs> Those tiny <laughs> little legs get up here way faster than I can. <laughs> so what do you say? You want to pay us? You already said you got paid. Yeah, well he's dead, so... Well now you gotta pay us. You've already gotten paid. <laughs> Again, you've said this twice. You've even agreed to it the moment I brought it up. You've gotten paid already. Alright, well, if you want to pay us, we'll be back in mid time. You well, just said you leave. got paid! <laughs> this guy does not care very much, and the herd of mercenaries, uh, goes away. Because, of course, their objective has already failed. I have a feeling they weren't in. The their full capacity. Soldiers, however, you notice that they are wearing the loyal colors, and they look like they are trying to figure out what to do now that all their mercenaries are leaving. What them. colors are they wearing? <laughs> the the colors of Grimmenhog. Which are what colors? Uh pff, I'm gonna say purple and green. That's the wrong colors. I know, I got it all wrong. No, I don't know what the actual colors of Grimmenhog are, but they're changed Neither now. Do I. <laughs> That's no, not I'm what they are anymore. We roll that. <laughs> You know what colors my colors are, and that's not what they are. Surrender, and you will be unarmed. Well, these are. This is our home. Wait, what wait, wait. Do do now? Wait, Gustav. I want to know what you said the first time. Surrender, and you'll be unarmed. No, no. When you rolled a fifty-three, I want to know what you said then. No, I rerolled that with. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to know what the this, fuck up was. This but, can be. This still. This. This is still your home. I. I don't think we intend to fight. We but who's the graph now? Look at virtual. But you can't <laughs> announce me? You can shout anything you want, but the one thing you'll draw the line uh, at is to announce me. Alright, no, I will announce it. Well, it's Sir Bertrand Hartman. Now, you can enter his service. Uh, they will look to Berthold. Will you allow it? May we continue to serve Grimmenhagen? Ah, uh, yes. You will service as guards to the city of Grimmenhagen. You shall not be allowed access to the fort any longer. We are at your command, then. And there are now 100 soldiers of Grimmenhagen, a part of your group. Oh. Official soldiers, not your dang... Peasantry. My dang peasantry makes up the, the backbone of the world, thank you very much. Exactly! You're gonna have to repopulate this whole region and actually spread these forces out around more than just a single castle soon. Wow, it's like I've already started doing that and talking to people about it. <laughs> All right. I just had to make notes of 600 losses. Which is fine, you know, I, we actually have more people here than can actually fit in the entire territory. <laughs> Or rather, in the pre-built territory. Alright. And just to uh, finish up one last loose end, of course... Two Alexa assassins show up to kill you, Gustav. ...from the walls, the Centagore. Uh. And he does not come within uh, arrow range at lightning all. Bolt! <laughs> I'm gonna or fly lightning bolt! Or lightning range. I'm gonna fly up to... But... Ain't gonna turn out well. I'm trying to wrap this up. No, no. So, this was your uh, mistake. Uh, and he's, and he's gonna go ahead and uh, announce. You have the castle that that poor Graf holed up in. Soon you will learn why. And he marches away. Dun dun dun! Why an asshole? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. And within about six to seven weeks, you have conquered. The uh, castle of Grimmenhagen, taking it from its poor few hundred defenders. 
I know you said you're trying to wrap up here, but I <laughs> have a good 400 people still in the field. Oh, that is true. Let me go ahead and wrap up what happened to them. They're dead. The soldiers will indicate that they stopped the shipments of food coming from Middenheim. That on their way back, they tried to keep anyone from returning with any food. They are okay, they merely scared them away. However, the uh, human soldiers that fled, they sort of shrugged their shoulders and go, We don't know where they went. No, no, not those people. Those people. That people already came back. These people, the people oh. that went out for food. Oh yes, those people with the next week actually come back with food. Uh, they said that they had a perfectly fine and happy adventure out in the field. <laughs> they are now greater friends Boy. for it. <laughs> <laughs> you thought something terrible was going to happen, it turns out. They just had a grand old time, and they're like, so what and happened while we were gone? We met some <laughs> wonderful red gnomes that took us to Magic Village, and we had... Ah, uh, yes. I mean, I didn't think anything bad was going to happen to them. That's why I made it an all-elf party. They're faster than humans, and this one area last is human-dominated. Uh, the wife of uh, Graf Sternhauer wants to leave and return in peace to Middenheim. With all of her property and her husband's. I mean, technically, the fort is her husband's property, so I'm going to say no to that. That's true, but it's not like I'm going to frisk that off your hands, am I? I mean, I'm not addressing her. <laughs> so, I know, but uh, I'm trying to give an in-character response. No, no, I understand that, but I already indicated that I was allowing mob justice to happen. No. Oh right, my, well Gustav stopped that. Yeah, I understand yeah. that, but if it if it comes up to it, it's not up to me. There's two thousand people right. here that I'm more than willing to allow individually to have their way. All right, I will uh, escort so... her with some men back to me tonight. With okay, her you give her some protection, and she's not able to quite get back her property. She is able to at least talk down some of the mob justice crowd from. Uh, attacking her, because she is a nice and sweet woman, if nothing else. Uh, however, she takes her and her children off to Middenheim with a uh, reasonable amount of wealth, but definitely not the chest full of, uh, of the funds for the, for the province. No, that but I... remains in your property. No, but... No, she has more than enough to survive. Okay. Ah, uh, so... Time to wrap this up once and for all, I think, if there's nothing else, then. Any last remarks or thoughts? Uh, I don't know if Gustav will remain in Grimenhagen or go back to Middenheim. Well, you do have the chance to walk back there and spend a week out there to decide. True. Perhaps uh, Gustav maybe does stay out there. We'll see. Oh. Uh and I guess to go ahead and finish it off, uh, 200 experience to everyone for completing the siege. I will instantly throw that into willpower. And I will go ahead and uh, pass the torch here over to Liz. Liz, congratulations. You are officially in control yeah. of this mess. <laughs> God have mercy on us all. <laughs> I hope this is a nice, good position for you to work, work with. No, definitely it does. And it is. Right. All right. So, uh, yep, we'll all figure out uh, if you want to Emmerich make a new character or not, but we can figure that later. But uh, thanks again, yeah. Griff, for running. It was a uh, great for us. It was a hell of a ride, Griff. Thank you. I definitely yeah, greatly thanks. enjoyed this and all of your characters. So I'll be happy to play Victor again and just mess with all of you. <laughs> I After all, Victor is now the hero of the siege, don't you know? Yes. Yeah, is he? What did sure. he do again? I stayed home and made dinner. Wait, where was Victor again? He was over in the village protecting it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the hero of the siege of the city of Grivenheim. Yes. yes. I will go ahead and spoil. If you didn't go ahead and attack that night, uh, well, the, the herd army and the mercenaries would have all shown up. Yeah. Oh, quite a very different situation. That would have been bad. I mean, Berthold doesn't handle loss very well. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, we all know. We don't all know. Only I know. Never mind. Only you know. <laughs> Although I am, again, as I said before, trying to stop with the um, secrets thing. I'm trying to be more open with what I'm doing behind the scenes. By doing it in front of the scenes, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, still, it's going to be nice and treacherous with Berthold uh, in control of the province. But we all have some rebuilding to do first, I'm sure. I... Yeah, I think I, I want to switch to a new cat. I think it's time for... Okay. Gustav right. too. So no, Gustav, Gustav's still Gustav's around. Good. You're the priest now, right? An NPC. Yep. Well, Gustav can to... calm down and uh, focus on his studies for a while. Gustav's never yeah. going to fucking calm down. No, he's never going <laughs> to calm down. Especially now that he knows he can never have kids. It's <laughs> fucking all the time now. <laughs> yep. Oh dear. Witcher style. Yeah, and especially now that he knows he can just randomly kill off a family member. Yeah, with no consequence. Well, because nobody's going to know you did it. Oh, if fuck, that spell went bad. If you long enough, it'll happen eventually. Your whole family just dies. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, walls. Really, I didn't like them very much, so you know. It's yeah. so I mean, Given that you completely abandoned them and went on an adventure, yeah, for sure. Yeah, even if you oh, could accidentally on, have so a bastard. I... <laughs> you're so a bookie, you're apprentice... fine. Yeah, the soul need to apprenticeship. They'll live near Sylvania. They... Yeah. Chances are they're already dead, <laughs> eaten by vampire or ghouls. No, 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 they're not dead. They're just tortured for all eternity. Yeah. So... <laughs> Killing them will be the merciful thing. Just All right, well, I'll catch you guys next time, and I'll stay in touch for the changes and what the plans are. So, yeah, yeah, just All need, right, catch you all next time. I just need to figure out if I go with Mo or Shalia. You're still I'll have to figure out what I'm going to start spending experience on again myself, so that'll be mm -hmm. fun. What did you say, Tato? I said you still haven't decided yet. No, so, so I mean, the god has so, so, so many possibilities like i could go with templar i could i mean if you want to go Warfare. i can offer you the thematic thing that again i said before the herald the heraldic symbol for my house is no, a yeah, you're symbol right. I, I really wanted to go shalia at first so i'm, I'm a good shalia you know, i mean no yeah it just i'm just throwing it out there as like a background option like, yeah maybe you heard that uh you know, Hartman took over the territory, yeah. and you know that the Hartman uh, logo is a Shalia symbol, so maybe you think, hey, yeah. they'll be friendly uh, is, to a Temple of Shalia. Is his family known to to donate to the Temple of they're, Shalia? Um, they're well known in Del Breeze. I don't think the Del Breeze, uh, the Del Breeze background has any uh, mes mention of Shalia in it, though. Del Breeze I is mean, apparently well known for its night murders and <laughs> apparently uh, wow. a fight against the Skaven. Uh, Del Breeze has a Skaven infestation that they are known to be fighting against. But also uh, uh, their water uh, trade. I, I mean, from what, uh, from what I read from Shalia, like, every noble likes to donate because uh, apolitical and it's always good to be bragging like you donate to Shalia, so that's why I was asking. Right. Yeah, I mean, we're a wealthy family. Assumably, we do yeah. the same thing all other wealthy families do. Yeah. We are a noble family, I should say, rather. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a heraldic symbol, would we? Yeah. I mean, if you have the, the Dovo Shell, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, your family must be, you know. I mean, everyone is friendly to a temple of Shell, yeah, it's always free healing. That's, that's nice. <laughs> Even though I've absolutely never gone there. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to, but the mass masses. Well, yeah, I mean, I've also never been hurt, so. Yeah. Uh, no, like, yeah. uh, like, uh, Dr. Horrible. Captain Hammer, you know. Oh, this is pain! This is what pain feels like! <laughs> Alright. Well, catch you later. I'm gonna go make myself some dinner. Yep. See you in a week. See you.